Hello there, my name is Isma, and welcome to another Blender tutorial, uh, to part 5 of our Blender 2.8 training series, making a sewer tunnel. Uh, so, now what we are going to do, let me move the camera a bit back. Uh, we are going to create this concrete uh, piece. So, we have exposed bricks, and uh, we have another concrete layer uh, that I think uh, didn't uh, fall off or didn't, get, didn't erode for some reason. Uh, so that's the piece we are going to create and you can see it's it's curving around uh the mesh without any other modif without a curve modifier or anything so let's see how we do that we achieve that so let's go to our project tutorial project uh, do, the way you do this is uh, just duplicate one piece module uh we can remove uh, the array and the curve we don't necessarily need to remove the curve but uh just to make this simpler i'll remove the curve and then uh, if you have a reference image, I would recommend you find a reference image for a crack or for a concrete, something uh, that resembles a piece of concrete uh, that uh, didn't fall off a building uh, that has already over time. So let me find what I used in the previous, in my original example. So I used something like this and then traced out uh, this, this portion here. But uh, I, I'm not going to do that because this is a tutorial and it would take a lot of time. But if you want to do that, uh, you can do that yourself. So just trace out what you would think would look like a concrete block like that. So I'm just going to do something graph here. If you want it to be more realistic, uh, use a reference image and trace that out. So we have something a piece like this. Now. To make it carved on this surface, what we are going to do is just extrude it uh, like that and uh, let me make sure I'm front view. Where is my curve? So this is the curve I'm looking at. I want to look at, okay, where is it hiding? So I'll rotate it on the Y axis around 45 degrees and I think it's too large for, for my tunnel. So I'll just scale it down. Where is this hiding? So let me, let me move. Let me hide everything but uh, these two because okay all right so select it and bring it around here we are going to use uh, the boolean modifier uh, to kind of cut it out into uh, this uh, this this wall so select the tunnel walls and then select uh, go to the modifiers and add a boolean modifier uh, select uh, this object and uh, you can hide it for now and uh, change the operation until this area is filled and the other areas are known. So let's see, we have difference, we have intersect. Mm, will intersect work for us? I don't think intersect will work. Uh, you want to have uh, this area filled uh, because if you don't have it, it's going to be very hard to fill in uh, with, and uh, have uh, these uh, lines flow, flow in the same direction. I don't remember which operation I used here, uh, but uh, we have this and we have this. Let me see if I try, let me unhide this and uh, delete uh, this face and see how that, what does, what happens when I do that? Also, let's first try this, change this to difference. Uh, so if you're running into the same issues that I'm running into, select uh, these two polygons, uh, the bottom polygons. You want to fill uh, this, uh, this uh, cylinder so that, so, that, so that it's not open as it is right now. So this bridge off uh, this side, and also fill this side and fill this side uh, because uh, the boolean operation works the boolean operation modifier sometimes works differently if you have an open object like this an open mesh like this so let's try at a different let's hide this and see still having that uh, let's try intersect and uh, union. Uh, 
difference so we're still running into the same issue uh, I don't remember what intersection what operation uh, there are only th three operations uh, but uh, uh, they're not giving me what I wanted but uh, that doesn't matter so just apply the boolean let's delete this object we don't need it in anymore now we can delete uh, these extra faces that we added and uh, we can also select this piece delete and uh, let's delete this as well so just bridge are these uh, what says and uh, make sure that uh, they align our uh, the different faces that uh, they have so to make this easier you can just select uh, every a every vertex and uh, hit F to connect it to its correct corresponding uh, vertex like that Uh, that will also maintain uh, the curvature of your of your tube or tunnel. Same thing like that. Now you can just come in and start filling these areas like this so if you watch uh, the time lapse you will see that uh, you see the intersection uh, the operate the boolean op how I use the, op the boolean operation to make this work without uh, going through this trouble here but uh, kind of forgetting how I did that. I didn't have to do this, but uh, it doesn't matter because we are still getting the same results. And uh, that is this portion here. Uh, so after doing that, after filling it in, you can select, you can select it, hit P to separate it. And now we don't need this other part. Now we can extrude this like that. Oh, okay. I think I, I think what we should have done is uh, let me see, uh, because I think I think what should, we should have done, if you don't want to do this like this, uh, you can let's first remove the array and the curve. So this is going to be our mesh boolean object. I think the reason this didn't work the last time uh, is because in the original version, uh, this was the boolean object and this was uh, the f uh, the mesh with the modifier. So let's try that and see if that works out. So I'll extrude this again, rotate it, scale it down move it into place but this time uh, this block is what we give the boolean modifier and select this as the boolean object and you can see we already getting the results we want uh, we want that curved that curve to be added to this object so I can apply the boolean modifier and delete this part now I don't need this this uh, these vertices anymore so I can select this delete that and I see what we get yeah so that's how you do it and uh, that's how I did it in the previous uh, tutorial so to give it a uh, thickness you just add uh, the solidify modifier and uh, go to the object data turn on uh, auto smooth and uh, let's increase the thickness a bit uh, something like that and uh, now you just Select this, bring it in. Um, 
move it to position something like that uh, then select this tunnel wall shift s cursor to select it okay so we have the cursor going that side so i want uh, the pivot point of this object uh, to be in the center of the tunnel that way i can easily rotate i can rotate it around uh, its axis so that i can position it in any direction in any area that i want so let me bring this back hopefully it's going to land in the center and uh, yeah so it's in the center so i can just right click origin to 3d cursor to position it to have its pivot point around there and now if i rotate this on the y-axis you can see i can rotate i can push put it at any on any direction on my mesh so let's bring this in and i think we're going to use the array modifier to duplicate it around the different areas so uh, let's just uh, select actually no because i don't want it to be repeated in the same area I want it to be repeated but uh, in different areas i'm not going to use the array modifier so i just select this and uh, use alt d to make an instant copy of this so that when i make changes to one to this uh, the, the, the changes will be duplicated on this and uh, i still want to have my 3d cursor around this object and uh, so i can rotate this to position it in any axis in any portion of my mesh can even scale it up out d if you have the time you can just make a different copy of what you want but uh, uh they're going to be separated they, they're going to have enough separation distance between them uh that uh, it, i think it would be hard for anyone to tell that uh that they are the same so we are running into an issue here uh because our curve is our tunnel is starting to curve here. Uh, when we rotate this, it starts intersecting with our wall uh, because it's straight and uh, it's not following the same curve. It's not following the curve uh, that we are using this. So if you want it to follow the curve, you, you again just use uh, the curve modifier. Uh, since we only have one curve, I can just select it there. And uh, now our portion is here, our concrete block is here, so I can move it back in the y direction so the direction you move it will depend on the rotation of your objects so again we can duplicate this again and uh, since we have our curve object on this out if we duplicate an instance of this it will still follow the curve as well and uh, if we rotate this on the y axis and okay, you can see that uh, it still also follows uh, the curvature of our tunnel so that's how i did uh, these walls here these concrete blocks here let me go into the camera hopefully we can we can see we have another one there we have so they are the same exact concrete blocks but uh because they have separated enough they have a, a good separation distance it's difficult uh, to see that uh, that they're similar and uh, you can see these are very close to each other but uh, i flip them around and i think i have another concrete block here to make it a little bit different yeah so you can play around with the different things there so in the next tutorial i'll show you how i made uh, these pipes